Well, Davos is bracing for President Trump's arrival, and Trump's team is setting the stage. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is breaking tradition and endorsing the dollar's decline as a benefit to the American economy. Mnuchin says, quote, a weaker dollar is good for us as it relates to trade and opportunities. Meanwhile, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross says the U.S. will fight harder to protect its exporters. Joining us now is Michael McKee. He's Bloomberg's international economics and policy correspondent. And of course, Mnuchin, to be fair, was echoing what his boss, what President Trump has indicated in the past. The dollar, Mike, is down about 10 percent over the past year, if you look at the Bloomberg dollar index. I mean, that's not just because Mm. You know, the no, administration's been talking it down. I, I've been asking around what's going on because obviously the U.S. economy is getting stronger. The Fed's raising interest rates. We should be ex seeing the dollar get stronger. And nobody knows. There's a lot of different stories about what is happening. But the rule is for Treasury secretaries, uh, it, it's very similar to if somebody asks you, does this dress make me look fat? Even if it does, you don't say it. But why? And so but you why don't talk about that? The, because what? currency traders tend to take what you say and Literally. build on it and overreact. And when the dollar is moving, in a direction and it's moving lower lately it just gives it additional momentum which is why Treasury secretaries have always sort of declined to talk about the dollar except for the old formulation about a strong dollar is in the US national interest without ever saying what a strong dollar is mm. okay fair but is Mnuchin right a weaker US dollar is better sure. for trade and opportunity what are the risks in him saying that though what are the risks for the dollar actually to be weaker when it comes to the US economy well you go back to uh, in the 1990s uh, the Japanese yen was very weak and the Japanese of course were the trading partner we all feared at that time and the US trade deficit was uh, getting deeper and deeper because the yen was so weak and they could sell their products more cheaply and so we saw uh, Lloyd Benson come out and say, you know, we need a stronger yen. And it got so strong that it hurt the U.S. Uh, economy. And uh, Bob Rubin had to come out and say, a strong dollar is in the interest of the United States. And they don't want to repeat that. They don't want to cause the wi wide swings back and forth. They'd like to keep currencies on a stable level. Uh, I think it's, we have a chart of what you're talking about. Okay. I think. This I think so. Yeah. Yes. This is that. There we go. Yep. And you can see what happens as the uh, yen gets weaker, the U.S. trade deficit gets much bigger. And so uh, that's the kind of thing that they're trying to avoid. And to have the Treasury Secretary talk about it just exacerbates the problem when the dollar's moving. And you had Wilbur Ross come out later and say, no, it wasn't a policy change. He was just talking about where the dollar is. And from an economic point of view, as you say, he's right, but not helpful to have mm. the Secretary talking about it. Do you think it's part of uh, the White House policy to intentionally jawbone the dollar lower, or was he just simply answering a question and answering it honestly? It sounds like when you read his comments that he was answering the question and answering it honestly without thinking about the effects and the reason Treasury secretaries don't say things like that. Mm -hmm. When you try to manipulate your currency to affect the trade deficit, you can cause the kind of problems that we saw uh, in 1993. And so uh, probably not trying to use the currency, they would use tariffs, they would use uh, other things to try to change the trade relationship with other countries. We are I don't, think, tariffs, I don't think they're yeah. going to manipulate the currency. And if they did, that would really make the rest of the world mad.